Hello and good morning, students. I'm Juliana Lukomsky. And I'm Avitar Gershon. Please show your support for the fourth annual Kindness Day on April 28th by buying a Be Kind t-shirt or sweatshirt through the Booster.com website and search for Kindness Day 2017. Orders must be placed by the end of the day tomorrow. You can also get involved in Kindness Day by filming yourself performing an act of kindness. Send us your video at paidforwardnhs at gmail.com. Encourage the recipient of your kind act to pay it forward and send us their video too. Let's start a kindness chain reaction. Submissions are due Thursday, April 13th. For any current sophomores or juniors, jun juniors interested in becoming a guidance aide next year, applications are now available in the Counseling Department Office, Room 105. The deadline for submitting the application is Thursday, April 13th, right before April break. Returning guidance aides still need to submit an application to be considered. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Vollmer or Mr. Manning. April is the time to nominate a teacher for your choice of either the Elliker or Keegan Award. Elliker nominees have a deep appreciation and knowledge of their subject matter, stretch their students' minds, and inspire excellence. The Dr. Brenda Keegan Award recognizes one educator from each Newton High School who inspires students to think both critically and creatively to consider sig the significance of their studies to their own lives. Nominations are due to the main office by April 28th. See the Newton North website for more details. Newton Community Education is holding drivers education classes after school in April from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. at North or South or during spring break at North. If you are interested in joining one of these classes and you'll be at least 15 years and 9 months of age by the first class, go to the NCE office room 101 for more information and an application. NCE is also looking to fill some open positions when four of their staff members graduate in June. This year-round position would include evening and summer coverage. If you'd be interested in working for NCE beginning in April, go see Patty Mason in Room 101 for more information. Mayor Seti Warren is hosting a game of touch football here at Newton North as part of the JFK Centennial Celebration. The event will be this Saturday, April 8th, from 10 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. This is a family-friendly event for all of ages. To register, please visit www.newtonma.gov slash touchfootball. Are you interested in starring in an original 10-minute play? Students who'd like to audition for the 10th Annual P Playwrights Festival are invited to a general interest meeting Thursday, April 6th during X Block in Room 171. No previous experience is necessary. Email Mr. Fabrizio with any questions. Busy week this week. Events are as follows. There is a spring jazz concert today at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. The faculty talent show to support the Gelf Fund is tomorrow night at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center. To Be Glad Day is this Friday. Presentations will run all day in the auditorium. On Friday evening, the Student Talent Show to support the Academic Support Program will be at 7 p.m. in the Little Theater. And on Saturday, April 8th at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center, the Asian Culture Club is, host, is hosting Asian Culture Night, a night of performances and food. Here is a glimpse into one of the performances. One, two, three, four. People should come to Asian Culture Night to learn about South Asian culture. It's so much fun. There's also lots of free food. We're getting food from Aji and from, from Indian places. We're getting bubble tea and all these things. Also, you get to see a lot of your classmates do super cool talents that you probably never heard about. We even have singers and instrumentalists coming and playing. And overall, it's just a really, really fun night. We, we work really hard on this. There's a lot of performances, a lot of um, cultural explosion that you should be exposed to. You can have fun doing a Bollywood dance. You don't have to be South Asian to do it. You don't know how. To, you don't need to know how to dance to even do it. Because honestly, like I have zero dance experience. Yet I'm organizing this whole thing. Uh, I think the final product looks really fun. There's a lot of color and a lot of um, a lot of really cool music. And when it all comes together, I think for the audience, it's really cool to see. Asian Culture Night is on April 8th. It's a Saturday, so people should definitely come to learn more about it. The spring sports season is here. Varsity home games this week are as follows. Today, boys and girls outdoor track go against Natick at 4 p.m. Tomorrow, boys tennis plays St. John Danvers at 3.45 p.m. and boys lacrosse plays Weymouth at 4 p.m. On Friday, boys volleyball plays Brookline at 4 p.m. That wraps up this week's announcements. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.